All right, so let's take a look at what's going on. So I've got gold in front of me now. With gold, as you know, we came to the last target. Um, obviously, this setup now changed, but yesterday um, you could see all the targets here. So now we've got a new setup happening here. Um, when, let me just refresh this. It's on the daily. So now our target on the daily is HCL1. It's about 1817. And that could be around there if this breaks out. So we might see the market going to the weekly pivot. There we'll get possibly some sell reaction. If we go above here, we'll also get some sell reaction at 1817 if we get there. Okay, that's on today. Tomorrow it'll be like 1815 because of the because of the uh, the line going downwards here at an angle. All right, but we're going towards the weekly period, and I said we would do that. So that's where the market is going to retest these levels. All right, so we're you know in that direction, and that's why yesterday I did say keep an eye out for 12 o'clock because they'll sell it then. That's 1150, 12 o'clock, I did say, and that's 12 o'clock and the market came down. Um, and then in the evening, I must have said five or 530, something like that. Let me see. Yeah, 536. 5 p.m. 536 would have done the support. And that's the four o'clock bar, that's five o'clock bar there. Okay, so with the Venus there and then the market's going up. So today what you need to look out for is six o'clock, 6 a.m., which is actually now, as you can see, 546, we're just coming up to six o'clock. So here we're probably gonna meet a resistance, okay, with the moon, um, but this could actually be a breakout because we've got Mars involved here at 557. So we're probably going to break out with Mars here, but just be mindful of this and this. Um, if you're not going to see the video, or if you're not seeing the video ASAP, look out for six o'clock, 6 p.m. my time, GMT plus three. That might be the time when we make the resistance. So the market may be up here by six o'clock. All right. But we should be going up and this Venus Mars aspect coming out of coming up at 557, 6. We'll probably we're probably going to break out here. Okay. So going up to here should be um, should that should give us a bit more confirmation as to we're going up to these levels here. So that's that. Let's take a look at silver. The reason I'm following silver is um, I think it's got a good run up retracement 38.2 and that's great. I think we can also get into buy levels here on silver as well. If you look at the weekly, it bounced off right off the target there. PST's price target and PST's strength target there, it's just above there. So this zone is actually a bouncing spot for silver as well. You can also follow that exactly like you're following gold. Um, this was the buy zone here. And if this also breaks out, we'll probably come to the weekly pivot as well. Let's take a look at SP500. Now with the SP500, we're in a good buy kiss here. This is, the daily, uh, this is what? This is the weekly chart. Okay, so on the weekly, all right, that was the weekly trend line, as you can see. From top to bottom, it, oops, where are we? From top to bottom there. Now, if I grow this up a little bit, let's enlarge this chart. Okay, we've got a good buy kiss happening here, which is in the vicinity of. PST lines. So this 65, this 4,231 is on the cards. All right, so 4,231, 43, they're on the cards. And I'd say this week, it should also be sold again. 
So I reckon around this zone, we should be selling. That's on the weekly. On the daily, if you come up here, you see the blue line here, which is 4,000. Let's see. The blue line here is 4,236. So this zone is also a sell zone around here, as you can see. Could extend up to there in terms of price. But if you look at it on the daily PST, 53.95, it did a high of 54.30, and 53.95 was 4,229. So 4,230 would have been a sell level uh, on the P uh, according to the PST, and that's where the market stalled, as you can see. Right, that's just where they sold off. Actually, if you take a look at it, that's on the daily. The highest it did was on this bar, 4,231.60. So 4,230 was a sell level according to the daily. According to the weekly, that's a good place. We're still in the range of selling, but it could extend a little bit. As you can see on the weekly as well here, look, it's 4,231.50 according to the weekly. And the market sold at, as you can see, 4,231.60. So it's just 0.10 difference. So very precise, as you can see, with PST. Um, so this level is one good level to sell. It's also good price resistance matches a weekly and a daily level on the PST. That's that on the SP500. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now, with the Aussie dollar, I obviously said wait for a pullback. Okay, don't you be going selling when the market made a bottom. Um, we said the market had room to come down from these levels to here, and it, it did come here. But, you know, obviously, you don't want to be selling here when you reach targets. Okay, so that's just not the smart thing to do. So with the Aussie dollar, I'd wait. I'd wait um, to see what will happen, to see how the market goes. Um, on the hourly here, right, on the, on the weekly pivot, there'll probably be a sell reaction. If the market gets to the weekly pivot, you can sell it off as that's the resistance. You can put a tight stop on there. If the market pops its head down to a daily or a weekly target, you can also start thinking about going long if you get down here you see there are more targets here so i'm not saying it won't come down i'm just saying it, it could also bounce off because it made targets already okay so we're either going to come a bit more down to these levels or we're going to you know hang around here and move up so be mindful if you did this trade if you've been trading the aussie dollar shorting it all the time as I said in the video, just short it on the PSTs, you would have made quite a few good trades actually. Um, let's take a look at the Oz 200. Now with the Oz 200, I mentioned this level before, the market fell down, nice retracement. As you can see, what to do with this now? Let's take a look at the weekly. What to do with this now? Once again, look, this is a breakdown, closes below the line, a good buy kiss. This is also a good place to be shorting, look, right on the blue line there. All right, on the weekly, as you can see. So not a bad place to be shorting, again. All right, and I'd be on the shorter side of things, on the indices, which I did mention before. Um, so on the weekly, same kind of thing. And yeah, you know, just on the pullback, you can go short. All right, on the, let's see what we've got on the hourly. Today we've got this level here. So yeah, this doesn't look like a bad spot to be shorting as well. On the one hour chart, you might want to wait for you to get up here. So selling on a PST is always a better option. So it broke above the weekly, so I wouldn't be a seller that close to the weekly pivot. 
but if it comes back up to a PST, I reckon that's a good sell opportunity. All right, I hope that helps. Any questions, feel free to drop me a line and watch out for these for those hours for gold um, and also the indices as well. Um, they might be making a top today as well because I was just looking at the New York SP 500 index. Okay, so um, we've got, let's just do this. All right, this is the heliocentric. This is the for let's do 22nd noon recalculated. Okay, so this is for today and on the whoops, on the, let's see, we're going to do this. Sorry, there we go. So this is what it's looking like today on the 22nd. So actually, on the 22nd, six o'clock is going to be important for us. And four o'clock. So four o'clock bar, six o'clock bar, they're going to be important for us. Also, here, as you can see, all right, we're going to have the six o'clock bar being important for us. Uh, today, yeah. So if at six o'clock, 4 p.m., 6 p.m., GMT plus three time zone, we're at a resistance, they'll be okay to be um, shorting, I reckon. Also, I was looking at tomorrow for the SP500, okay? And on the 23rd, 24th, I think there'll also be some good opportunities where the market is actually going to be kind of, um, you know, like clarifying what's going on. All right, so it should be a bit more clear as to what, what direction we're going on the 24th um, of uh, this month, which is going to be like Thursday. All right, Thursday is also a full moon and tomorrow is going to be perigee. So the moon's going to be really close, closest to the earth on that day and it'll give us an opportunity to actually see twists and turns in the market all right so be mindful be careful we're going to have a bit of a volatile period but you know everything is going according to the stars so i don't think there's going to be much dramas if we look at the 24th on this as well you'll see here Uh, let's see on the helio there's what have we got here on the 24th on the opening of the us 8 30 in the morning um let's see yeah we've got a nice geometry happening in there and on the oops on the geocentric on the 24th <laughs> Once again, when the market's opening, we've got a few stuff happening. So the moon will be pulling the trigger on Thursday as well, including sun as well. So we'll have with sun and Venus actually at 7.48, 8 p.m. my time on the 24th. We might see some nice turnarounds in the market. All right, so be mindful for the full moon. Um, look out for those hours. But um, this is, I think, a period, in my opinion, Contest astrology as well, um, a time period where we could actually short the indices um, on their pull-ups, okay? Just like on the SP500, um, I noted the top on Twitter, when these aspects come into play, they'll make those little resistance levels up there and then it'll be nice to sell because it matches the PST level, okay? Hope that helps, have a great day. Any dramas, feel free to drop me a line.